Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cash Money Gabs taking over for the 99 and the 2000s and cashmoney.gabs on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Insta and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yes, I'm back again with another video. I told you guys I'm here taking over the budgeting game and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> But um, for today's video, we are going to do a cash stuffing. I honestly, I didn't really want to make today's video, but I, I want to be real with um, on my channel. So today I am stuffing my Uber Eats pay. This is what I made from last week, Monday to Sunday. It, they go weekly. And I only did one day. I honestly, I was tired. I was not feeling doing Uber. I did overtime at my job and it's just been really, really busy at my work. Um, believe it or not, working at a call center can be very stressful. And even though you're just sitting all day taking phone calls, um, the phone calls can be, they can be pretty, pretty rough. So I, I didn't want to do Uber. Um, I know I had to do at least something just to put gas and, you know, have stuff for my cash envelopes. So I have um, 20, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 62 dollars. Um, I don't even want to, you know what, F it, I'm gonna, I don't care. I bought this cash tray to you, so I'm gonna use it. So I just decided to make this video just to be like real when it does come to like side hustles. Um, you know, if you don't go out there and get it, then you're going to end up with 62 bucks. But it is what it is. It's still going to get us through the week. I get paid on Friday um, with my overtime and my holiday pay. So we'll be good with that. Um, I also wanted to do in this video some of the, um, well, I'm doing, besides my savings challenges that I do, um, I also want to um, kind of show how I'm going to start. <laughs> We're on like week three of June, so of the savings challenge that Chris Budget Chris Budgets have. So I'm going to, even though we have $62, I figured out a way to start the challenge. Let me go ahead and mute. Alexa, that way she doesn't listen to our conversation, but um, what we'll go ahead and do, I have my little note of what I have to pay, so with groceries, we have 40, 20, 40, 45, 46 dollars left over. So I'm gonna put that on the side. Um, nothing for house and toiletries. Gas, we actually have 10 dollars left over. So put that to the side. Food, um, it, it's never gonna have anything left over. Same thing with Starbucks. And surprisingly, we actually have left over from our, um, I'm, I'm going to call this my, <laughs> my food uh, cushion. I said in my, one of my last videos, if anybody just used miscellaneous for like, just like a cushion for their food or when they, you know, they run out of food money and they just need, want to buy like ice cream or something. So we actually have something left over in that. Um... I think that's all. I don't have anything in here. So I'm gonna stuff my cash envelopes first and then show what I'm gonna do with the leftover money. Um, groceries, I don't stuff until my paycheck. Same with household. Gas, I do stuff weekly. So we're just gonna do $20 because um, I think we're at like half a tank so it'll make it till Friday food we're doing 30 this 
is going out to eat. Uh, I set a budget for this much of two, or I set a budget for this month of $200 for eating out. And we're actually on track to come in under that so far. So that's nice. And then miscellane, oh no, Starbucks. It breaks my heart, but I'm not gonna put anything to Starbucks. We really don't don't need it. Um, and if we absolutely absolutely have to, then we'll just use miscellaneous. But miscellaneous will get ten dollars. So that is for the cash stuffing of my wallet. Oh, oh my God, the light went out. Oh, this is kind of. I kind of like this. No, I don't. Let me turn the light on. Okay, so uh, my light, it has a, an auto sensor, so after a while it just shuts off. But anyway, um, we have $2 left over. Normally, with my Uber Eats pay, I would stuff these sinking funds from our, um, like our wants sinking funds. But just how the week went... We're not gonna do that at all. So these two dollars, it's just gonna go into this money. So let me organize this. So what we have left over is 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 dollars. So the savings challenge get over here the savings challenge that I'm going to do um, Chris budget she came up with two really creative and um, really creative savings challenges um, I am just going to do this one because first of all I love the stun shades I'm, I'm going to admit I had some and I was rocking them in high school. <laughs> so this is really cute. Um, what is, I think we're on like week three of June. So I'm like really late, but we're just going to play catch up with this leftover money, money and just jump to week three. Um, and yeah, we'll just put that towards this. So we are in week three. Week one was a short week, I guess. So week three, we are at $60. And I think what I'm gonna do, how am I gonna color this? I'm just gonna color it to make it cute. And then as I finish up week four and five, I'll just write in the amount that I have saved. So let me color this. Another savings, while I'm coloring this, um, another savings challenge that I really want to do, um, I see a lot of pages and Etsy shops making these cute $100 um, box, hundred dollar 100 envelope savings challenge at first I wasn't because I, I have my you know my own savings challenges that I want I'm doing and I don't want to take on too much uh, all at once um, but when I saw these boxes coming out it just really intrigued me and um, I don't know I'm I'm a sucker for like I guess you could say like packaging and just how things are presented um but yeah so I really I just I really want to get one of those boxes but I don't want to just do it and not have a plan for my savings challenges um so I th think I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that money to go on a trip not just any trip, a, a big trip. Um, I mentioned in my last video a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I haven't been back home since 2017. And 
that just when you live sorry I'm gonna <laughs> kind of just going off on a, a tangent here and, and venting but when you live a whole ocean away from your family it it's hard so I really want to make it a point to save the money to go back home see my family uh, I was raised by my grandparents and I haven't my grandpa doesn't travel he has anxiety when it comes to airplanes so I haven't seen him since since 2017 and you know when you're oh, I'm gonna start tearing <laughs> when you're raised by your grandparents it's just I don't know it's just so important to talk to them and see them as often as you can so I, I really need to make it a point to do that and I really think that um, 100 envelope challenge is going to definitely help me and motivate me to stay on track to save that money to go back home so um, that's what we're probably going to do with that and start that soon also my um, my boyfriend he also is from you know he's he's from California and while that is just a um I think it's like an eight hour drive from where we are in Utah um it's it's still it's still pretty pricey to to see to even go there so I don't want us to go so long without seeing our our family so it's it's really important to me so I'm gonna start to do that soon finish up coloring this okay so got our <laughs> our stem shades colored in so that's what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna start from and just fill in the numbers of how much I save or I put towards this challenge and then total it up by the total it up by the end of the month and haven't haven't thought about what I'm gonna put this money towards probably debt but we'll see and I'm gonna put this money in um, I think this one I'm just gonna put it in this envelope for now I have a budget that's cute I have a budget sheet in there so this was really helpful to at least put some money towards some kind of savings challenge. Um, I just, I really, I just wanted to be real with my income and how, you know, while Uber and my delivery driving, um, grocery delivery, it can be a, a decent source of income, but you gotta do it. <laughs> and sometimes life happens and I don't know, you're your well-being is is more important so sorry if I kind of went off track and got into a little you know more personal things but that is today's video thanks so much for watching guys um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much again for I think we're at 75 or 76 uh, subscribers so that's really exciting um, like I said, I'm, I don't know, I, I feel popping with that. <laughs> so thank you. Bye now.